The XM-7 rifle, part of the U.S. Army's Next Generation Squad Weapons, NGSW program, has been generating buzz as it gradually replaces the long-serving M4. While military experts have weighed in, it's the feedback from the troops that paints a real picture of the weapon's impact. Soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division were among the first to receive the XM-7, and their reactions have been insightful, highlighting both the weapon's strengths and challenges. For soldiers like Sergeant Marcus Colston, the XM-7 represents a major leap forward in terms of firepower and penetration. He described how the rifle's 6.8mm round easily punched through steel plates that the M4's 5.56mm rounds couldn't dent. The XM-7's ability to defeat body armor and even light-skinned armored vehicles like the BTR or Tiger is a game-changer, transforming obstacles that used to provide cover into mere concealment. This capability, especially in urban warfare scenarios where structures offer both enemy protection and concealment, has excited many infantrymen. Blasting through concrete walls and hitting targets behind them is something the M4 couldn't do, giving the XM-7 an edge. However, increased firepower comes at a cost. The XM-7 is notably heavier than its predecessor. Unloaded, the XM-7 weighs about 3 pounds more than the M4, and with a 2-pound optic attached, it totals around 12 pounds about 4 pounds heavier than the legacy system. This extra weight reduces a soldier's ability to carry as much ammunition, from 210 rounds to just 140. Additionally, magazine sizes have been cut down to either 25 or 20 rounds, compared to the M4's standard 30-round magazine. For soldiers, this means adjusting to a heavier load, both in terms of the weapon itself and the associated gear, making mobility more challenging in certain scenarios, particularly during close-quarter battles. CQB. Still, many soldiers seem to accept these trade-offs. Staff Sergeant Steele, an 11-year infantry veteran, stated that the new XM-157 optic more than makes up for the weapon's extra weight. According to Steele, the optic allows soldiers to acquire targets faster and shoot more accurately, increasing both precision and speed downrange. This sentiment was echoed by Colonel Vogel, the 101st Airborne's commander, who acknowledged the added weight but said that soldiers would adapt once they realized the XM-7's benefits in terms of firepower and target impact. As one soldier put it, I just need to hit the gym a little more. It's worth it. The XM-7 suppressor is another noteworthy upgrade. Historically, only Special Forces units had access to suppressors, but with the XM-7, every infantryman will be equipped with one. This reduces both visual and audible signatures, making soldiers less likely to be detected by enemy thermal imaging or cameras. Despite the generally positive reception, some concerns remain. Critics argue that the XM-7's focus on long-range engagement might compromise its effectiveness in close combat situations, especially given its weight and recoil. However, the Army seems committed to adapting, as the XM-7 will likely work in conjunction with the XM-250 machine gun, a weapon praised for its reduced weight and superior accuracy compared to the M249 saw. As the XM7 continues its rollout, it's clear that this weapon system will reshape the US infantry's capabilities. Whether it meets the diverse challenges of modern combat remains to be seen. But for now, most troops seem excited about the power and precision the XM7 brings to the battlefield.